Hello, my name is Gustavo Blando and welcome to 2019 DesignCon Samtech booth. Today we are going to be showing you our flyover architecture and uh, how it can be used to simplify system design. Normally for flyover architecture you use your connector really close to your chip and you can run those wires uh, over boards going directly from that connector to the front panel or perhaps between boards on a flex, uh, flyover uh, flexible architecture from board to board. Uh, that's all within a chassis. But today we're going to do something special. We're going to talk about flyover architecture and twin axe uh, connections from rack to rack with a very long cable. Right, so for that I have a great demonstration here that I'm going to be showing to you. So let me walk you through the demonstration. We start here with our e-silicon device, the driver, that it will send signals approximately one inch to our bull hype connector. It's a connector that allows to concentrate a bunch of these uh, coax cables very, very in a high density. So now from there, we route a, a pigtail of coax cable to our Examax test car. In this Examax test car, we have a couple of inches going to our Examax cable connector. This Examax cable connector connects to 40 high-speed twin axe cables in this bundle and this goes all the way five meters to the other end and the system repeats. Now when you look at a system like this you realize that uh, there is a lot of losses. There are losses from the board, there are losses from the cable, there are losses from the little test car in here and losses from the connectors and the cable. If you look at the total losses in the, in the system, we have 38 dB approximately of losses. 21 of those uh, dBs are happening here on the cable, approximately 4 dBs per meter. So even on a situation like this, with 38 dB of losses, this device, and help, uh, thanks to the help of our Twinax cable, we can recover signals very, very nicely. You can see here in the screen that we can plot the eyes uh, for pump 456 uh, gigabits per second. As you can see, after five meters of cable, we still have a bit rate prefect of 1e to the minus 11, which is orders of magnitude better than uh, the spec. The technology that we have in terms of high spin twin eye cables is such that allow us to have cables with a gauge that is four times better than our competition. And that's why you can see the size of this bundle is very small because it allows this cable to be very, very flexible and it gives you the, the ability to run very, very long length, like five meters of length. So I'm sure you have many more questions. In such a case, please feel free to go to our webpage at suntech.com slash flyover or if you have any specific questions send us an email at sig at suntech.com thank you very much